Hi, it's Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about why is my CPA affiliate campaign not converting? If you run CPA affiliate campaigns, then you are on the right channel. I've been running CPA affiliate campaigns for several years now. I've trained hundreds of thousands of people and I've done several million in revenue from CPA affiliate campaigns. So today I want to talk about a question I received by one of the students inside powerhouseaffiliate.com. He sent me an email that said, let me read it to you. So I've been wanting to start out on something easy and offers that convert easily. I started promoting a few single opt-in sweepstakes and survey offers. They were all for either the US or Canada. I'm getting loads of traffic and clicks, but seemingly no conversions, like actually none, not one. Like I said, these offers are ones that should convert rather easily, but they don't. What do you think I'm doing wrong or what's wrong with my campaign? And do you think my network started shaving? Okay, so let me answer this question and I think it's a great question and I wanna go through several things that I think are important in analyzing your campaign and where people are dropping off, okay? You need to find out where people are dropping off on your campaign. But first, let's address the first issue, which is shaving. I've done a complete video on YouTube about shaving and networks and you can see it pop up again up above here. But the thing here is that I'm pretty sure it doesn't come down to network shaving. Trust me, affiliate networks, the last thing they wanna do is start shaving affiliates, especially when they're just starting out trying to get conversions. That is the worst thing that a CPA network could do and all of that is explained inside the video that I popped up earlier, okay? So I'm not gonna go on about shaving, but all I'm gonna say is that is probably not what's happening here. So what is happening? Where are your users dropping off? Why are you not converting? Well, we have to figure out first the entire funnel and we have to figure out certain aspects of it where people are dropping off. So let's start right at the source, okay? First of all, we need to think about the offer itself. Make sure the offer is tracking, look at the CPA network EPC and see if there are actually conversions. If it's zero EPC, it means it is not converting, it could be an old offer and let's just be honest here. Some CPA networks are sloppy, okay? There are offers on their networks that have been there for years, they haven't paused them, they're probably outdated. Make sure the offer works, make sure you're on a network that is up to date, talk to your affiliate manager first before you start buying traffic to an offer, okay? Check out the offer page, switch your IP. If you have to use a tool like Hide My Ass, then do that, it is a IP switcher, so you can switch whichever country you want and you can appear to be in that country and you can see the offers whether they work or not. So that is the main thing. Make sure the offer actually works. That's usually one of the problems. People don't test the offer. Next, you need to do proper timing on your test, okay? A lot of people, especially the people that have come into the network that I run, have come in and they just haven't ran enough traffic. So they come in, they blast traffic for say an hour or two, or even just one day, and then they see you know maybe 50 clicks to the offer, and they think that there must be some shave going on, or they, the first thing they think of is it can't be my fault, it has to be shaving, there's something wrong here, but really what's happening is you're not giving it enough time, you're not testing it throughout the week, or throughout, you know, multiple times throughout the day, okay? So that is important, to make sure that you test a long enough time period, so if you can spread your budget out across five to seven days, that's better than just running all of your traffic on one day, especially if you're just starting out and you have a small budget. The next thing you need to consider is the traffic source itself. Are you on a traffic source that is catered to having high quality visitors, okay? I'm talking Facebook, Google, Bing. These places have really high quality traffic, okay? There's Twitter, there's Pinterest, where you can buy traffic directly from those users. Now, if you're going into places like push ads and native ads, now you're relying on private publishers. And those networks, those ad networks, take in anybody for private publishers, pretty much, okay? So if a website has a lot of traffic, they can become a publisher on one of these ad platforms, and now you are relying on that publisher to send quality traffic to your landing pages, your ads, whatever else you're running, okay? So if you're not running from a major platform like Facebook, Facebook where they have full control of their visitors, then you need to really consider what type of traffic you're running and consider whether or not it's your traffic that's the problem and not the offer itself. 
Now let's assume you have great tracking on the offer. It's running, it's converting for others. You have good traffic. Now what could it be? Now we have to look at the actual funnel itself, starting with the advertisement. Look at your ads, make sure you're testing more than one single ad. You should have at least three to five ads when you're first starting out. And some people go up as high as 25 to 50 ads that they're testing, depending on what their budget is on this traffic source. Now look at different images, different headlines, different calls to action, and all of that stuff. Test them, tweak them. To tell if your ads are working, look at the ad click-through rates. People are seeing your ads, they are clicking on them. This indicates that people are interested in your ads. Wherever your placements are, it seems to be attracting visitors. So now, what happens? Is it your ads or is it the next step? Now we have to look at the next part of your campaign, which is either the landing page or are you directly linking. Usually I use landing pages first because this gives me the opportunity to really determine if people are dropping off after the ads. So if you in the, if you put in a middle page, your own landing page, or what we call sometimes a pre-sell page, this works extremely well to see where people are dropping off. So you can split test multiple different landing pages. You can look at the click-through rates on your landing page, assuming you're using a third-party tracking system such as uh, CPV Labs, Volume, BMob, all of these tracking platforms out there, there are so many, but you should be using one and you should be monitoring your landing pages to see how long they're on your landing page, where they're dropping off, whether they're clicking through. If they're not clicking through, you need to either test and tweak your ads to make sure they match your landing page or adjust your landing page to match what your ads are saying. They need to coincide with each other. So assuming now you know your ads are working, you know people are clicking through your landing page, now they're going to the offer. Is the angle you're using and the ad combination working to promote the offer itself? If you're converting for other people, then you need to maybe find out what they're actually using for an angle. If it's not converting for other people or you don't know, then you need to test multiple angles. If you don't know what that means, simply check out my other videos. I have some videos related to choosing an angle and how to find different offers that might work with your traffic. At this point, it gets really difficult for anyone, even seasoned professionals, to figure out exactly where the problem is. Assuming you've ran the offer for a long enough test, you know that the offer is working, you know people are clicking on your ads, you know people are clicking through your landing page and it's all congruent and people are actually looking at the offer, why is it not converting? Are you sure it is a single opt-in? A lot of offers that say single opt-in are in fact not single opt-ins. They are actually converting after three or four pages of this person in entering in data. A single opt-in does not always mean they enter an email and boom, it converts. Okay, so you need to make sure first before you start switching and testing offers. At this point, if you can find a similar offer on a different network, it doesn't hurt to test a different network's offer or a completely new offer that is in the same category, especially if you're an affiliate, this works well because you can start doing things and you're switching offers and you have the flexibility to do whatever you want. So as you can see, Trying to decide why you are not converting doesn't come down to a simple answer. There are just so many different variables to consider and 99% of the time it is not your network shaving. It is something to do with all of the other facets of your campaign. So hopefully this has answered your question with regards to why am I not converting? I have a lot more content about this subject. You can visit our free training at powerhouseaffiliate.com. Subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it, and be sure to click the little bell icon so that you get updated every time I post more videos related to affiliate marketing, especially in CPA affiliate marketing, where I've spent most of my career online.